relentlessness of Maiba Amadouche will put her to the test. And here they are in the center of the ring. And Veneno comes out swinging, but so does Michaela Mayer. Michaela graduated today. She just graduated tonight to a master inside the ring. She couldn't box on the outside. She has a longer arm. She took it in the inside. She used tactics that you don't see. Stepping back, getting distance, working her combinations at, at times, landing the beautiful right hands. She took some shots as well, came back, got calm and stayed calm in there. Fantastic performance by both women tonight, but extremely fantastic performance by Michaela Mayer. But we had questions about Mayer in terms of, okay, how is she going to respond? Can she also bite down? Can she return fire with fire? She he did that and more tonight. These ladies put on a tremendous performance. Champ, congratulations. We had it closer than the judges, but it was a magnificent fight. What did you learn about yourself tonight? That I can bang it out on the inside. Like, that wasn't really the entire game plan. The game plan was to use my boxing, too, but in the back of my head, I knew she was going to keep that gap closed and that she was going to keep me on the inside. So. Even though we trained for that, like just being able to do it for 10 straight rounds definitely, you know, taught me a lot. Seemed like she didn't give you room to box and she didn't give you time to think and you still overcame that. Yeah, that's where the training comes in, you know, being able to dig to the body and keep letting your hands go. And that's what our good sparring, our sparring partner here, Jose, and he pushed me for weeks. You never know till you know. Did you think you had this kind of fight in you tonight? I, I knew it was in me, yeah, but honestly, I had such a good camp. Like, I wasn't breathing heavy going into each round. I was very cool, calm, and collected and seeing more. Usually, I'm just, I have a lot of reaction, but I was really able to slow things down and see things. You guys might have seen it close because she was a busier fighter, but the game plan wasn't to match her punches. I was shifting and digging the harder shots. Your father came up to me in the middle of the fight. He, I go, how can you watch this? He goes, I love this. I go, why? He goes, because Michaela loves this. Did you love this tonight? Oh, yeah, of course. This is everything I trained for. So um, I really hasn't even sunk in, but I'm proud of what I did. I'm proud of my team. Like, we're going to celebrate this one for sure. I think this is the kind of night where you see a, a sport come of age. But what's next for you? What do you want? Well, I really wanted to show everybody in the division, the, in the naysayers, that thought I couldn't, I didn't have the power or the grit to stay in there for 10, for ten rounds with Hamadouche, um, that I am the best in this division, that I am coming to go undisputed, and I want the big fights, and that I'm definitely a threat. You certainly made that statement tonight, but you can't get there without help from a, an opponent such as this. What do you have to say to Maiba Hamadouche for testing you the way that you did? Absolutely. I've been looking for a test like Hamadouche my entire fight. And so, you know, I she definitely pushed me. I had to train extra hard. I never trained. I, I respected her enough to go into camp and train harder than I've ever trained. And so big props to her. She's been a longtime champion. I know she still has a lot of fight left in her. We'll see her again. But this is my time. Thank you very much. Coach, what you want to say? It was a great fight for the women. I mean, it was a great fight. One of the best fights I've seen in 10 years. And it was, guess what? It was two ladies. You know, we had a great training camp. And we had a Jose, a boxer, the box. And we put pressure on her the whole time. Every sparring session we did, we kept him on top of front punches. Because everybody, this young lady boxed, she took him away from the game plan because she was so missy. So we prepared that for that. And she fought excellent. I, I gotta give her an A minus. Such a great A minus. She finished I've everything off with the left hook. Great fight. She made a couple mistakes. So, so you think it was a great fight for the girls? I think it was a great fight for the old guys, huh? You know, it was a great fight. She did what we worked on <laughs> and a couple times her head was in a minute. But we know how she was go box. We trained for that. She didn't, the young lady only boxed one way, aggressive and throwing punches. So we knew what was coming at us. And like I told Michaela, I said, this is going to be your hardest fight and your greatest fight. And I was right. And it was. Right. And he gave you an A minus? I've never gotten an A, period. So that's, I'll take it. Oh, oh, oh. I, get, I did give you an A. When? Right now. An A minus. A minus. <laughs> I'm saying it now. It's usually a B plus is the highest they ever got. So I'll take she the A minus. Great fight. Great. Great competition. This with women boxing. Period. No, let me say it this way. 
This is what boxing need more of, the men and women fighting like these two young ladies did tonight. I agree with you on that, Coach.